Hello, Cancer. Welcome to 811 Moon. I'm Amy, and this is your no contact reading for June, July 2021. I'm doing that today for you. And, Cancer, before uh, when I was meditating, I was getting some messages uh, that there's someone out there that is kind of uh, the reason you're in a no contact is because they are unsure of the relationship. They want to take things so slow, it's ridiculous that. They want the Ten of Pentacles with you, but they don't know how to get it without screwing it up. And that's why they're in no contact. That's what I got a message before I even really started. I was shuffling the cards and kind of doing something. So whoever that applies to, uh, your person is almost at a standstill and there's basically no communication or very little communication because they have screwed things up so bad in the past that they are um, completely not sure how to get their ten of pentacles because they don't want to make the same mistakes they made before and they're trying to figure it out so cancer whoever that was for i'm going to move on and see if this is a new message coming in with this deck or if it is a con continuation of that story cancer let's see so we're looking for the highest and best message for no contact for a cancer collective let's see what we have cancer Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a continuation of the same message here. Missed opportunity, manifesting. They think they know what they want. They want to call it in, but they don't know how. And they, you've got the Queen of Wands upside down. It's almost like they don't know how to navigate the world that they want to be in, which could be the world of love or the world of a relationship. They don't know how to navigate it. They don't know what they're doing. And I think, Cancer, because you're the type of person you are, you know, you're very sensitive to that. You're, you're very open to, you know, have trying to be understanding because you're a Cancer, so that's what you are. You get very, you know, you're a water sign. Uh, I have many Cancers in my life, and they're just beautiful people. And I know that your heart is so big, Cancer, that you, uh, you're trying to understand this person. That's big. You're trying to say, okay, I get it. Let's try it this way. Let's try it that way. And this person just is kind of like, uh, you know, what, this is such a powerful card for me right now for this reading because look at him with the book and looking at the cup. It's like this person wants a manual on how to have a relationship with you. That's what they're looking for. They're looking for some outside source that's going to help them navigate a, the situation of love. They're, but they're not using their own magic or they're doing things kind of upside down. Really, that's what it comes down to. But they do want something. So I think that's I think that's the big takeaway here right now, Cancer, is they want something. They do want a relationship. They just don't know how to get there because they've made so many mistakes in the past. And I think that the situation right now is I've made so many mistakes and I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm better off doing nothing. So take it where it resonates, Cancer. That's what I'm seeing so far. Let's see how else this story is going to progress. Let's see. Can we get more information for Cancer? Can we clarify these three cards with three more cards? Let's get deeper into this story. They don't know how to use their intuition. They don't know how to use it. They don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to use their intuition. Uh, they're not using their intuition. This is a this has been a karmic lesson for them. This has been a lesson that they've had to learn over and over again. They've constantly had the same lesson coming in and getting the same results. Communication and intuition, a problem for them. On the two of swords, which flipped out upside down, right? I try to keep all my cards right side up and I checked them before I started. So the two the Queen of Wands and the Two of Swords, they're kind of <laughs> This is that blindness I'm seeing. Like, it's funny to say that, right? The blindness I'm seeing. Uh, that's kind of an ironic statement. But in this person, what I'm seeing kind of through their lack of vision. And I don't think it's something... Uh, there could be some blockage there where they are relying on some kind of outside source. Like, I'm just giving you an example. They could be relying on alcohol to get through the day because they don't want to deal with things. 
I'm just using that as an example. Or it could be this, the fact that they just haven't been able to navigate their feelings properly because they've been focused on other things in their life all these years and they're not able to, to act. Or the other big piece, I'm getting this message too, is they've never really seen, see how he's got the book with the cup and he's trying to figure life out almost in that picture? Uh, they've never really had or seen a healthy relationship in their life Maybe there's been a lot of divorce in their family or a lot of broken marriages or a lot of cheating or a lot of dishonesty. Uh, and they've seen these relationships over and over again. And that is what it's coming from. They don't see stability in relationships. They don't know how to get it. They don't understand it. So, and it's probably been a breakdown of communication in their family unit or what they've seen in relationships. I'm not really seeing um, ego issues at this time. I'm seeing more of communication issues. Not really telling people how they feel, not really expressing themselves. Maybe they're the type of family that doesn't say I love you. Maybe it's the type of family that doesn't hug. I don't know what it is, or I really feel like it's probably a lot of divorces uh, and no long-term relationships uh, or relationships that fail very quickly. Uh, okay, the, the devil just flew out too. Uh, what I talked about earlier was like addictions, dependency, uh, addictions too. So take it where it resonates. If it sounds like your person, then that part of the reading is, is for you. Uh, let me see. Let me clarify this devil. Ooh, yeah. They don't know how to get that ten of I just said this. They don't know how to get it. They don't know how to get that Ten of Pentacles. They don't know how to get that Ten of Cups. They don't know how. So they, they still go back to the same old thing. They don't change. Even though they're trying. I really feel like that with this person, Cancer. They are trying to figure it out, but I don't know if you want to wait that long. <laughs> they, it's, it's like what they've observed in life have been short, non-successful relationships. And it's been a lack of communication or dependency on something else outside the, the force of the relationship like alcohol, drugs, gambling, uh, betrayals, uh, cheating, whatever it is. This is, this is they haven't had the healthy uh, relationships to see how to fix it. And it's so weird too, um, and I don't know why I'm pointing this out, but I am. You know how some people grow up in a certain way and you're like, oh, wow, they became so successful after they grew up, you know, in poverty or something like that. And they, but it's like they went totally the other way and figured it out. It's like this person wants to go the opposite way of how their uh, connections or family have gone, but they can't figure out how to get there. Interesting. What else does Cancer need to know about this connection? Can we get three more cards across the board here? The High Priestess, the Judgment, and the Two of Swords upside down. Can we get more clarification here? Wow, see, more communication issues. I mean, I know this is a no contact, but I really feel like this is this person doesn't have any communication skills. Okay, so the emperor taking control, being in charge, and um, uh, this is the other, okay, here's the other piece, the missing piece that I kind of was searching for, and to see if this applies to your person. This person listens a lot to other people and gets all jumbled up inside because they aren't making decisions for themselves. They're not the emperor of their, of their world. So it's not so for example a healthy a healthy person you know psychologically healthy person you might say okay i got information from three different sources now i'm logically going to say okay this is the route i'm going to take logically because it makes the most sense it will hurt the less people hurt, hurt me less whatever this person might be taking unhealthy advice from three different sources and kind of using each one or jumbling them in together when they're not really healthy and not really looking at it logically so they're not the emperor of their environment. 
they are letting other people dictate how they should move, how they should go, what they should say, what they should do. So I feel like this is like the family unit and this is the communication piece. Or there could be a very, um, there could be an unhealthy relationship between mother and uh, child. That could be another problem where the mother has got a lot of control over the child and the child continues to listen to the mother's advice instead of moving on in the relationship. And that's just another extra there. That might that, that might be totally separate than anything else anybody else has got, but that might message might just be for one person. Sorry guys, the cat's running around. Um, all right, let's see what the most likely outcome is. What's the most likely outcome for this situation? What's the most likely outcome between cancer and the no contact person? I want to make a point here too that I didn't get any love cards. I don't feel there's and I don't feel that there's a love here. I think that this person's so confused that love is eludes them. For some reason, I don't know what what that reason is at this point. Maybe it'll come up, but I'm seeing that uh, I'm not feeling that you know deep, deep love. There, there could be a reason for that. I'm, could be a third party. I don't know, but I think the third party is the person in their ear telling them how to live their life. I think that's really what it is. Okay, so can I get uh, most likely outcome? Three cards, please. Most likely outcome. <laughs> Are these three cards? Okay, so we got the Empress, the Tower, and the King of Cups. So this House of Cards has to fall. This person has to have a... This person's going to have some kind of epiphany, some kind of revelation, some kind of... I feel like for some of them, they might even have an out-of-body experience. I don't know where that's coming from, but... Take it where it resonates. You I, you probably would never even know if, unless that person told you uh, when you when you do come in contact again. But this this person's gonna have some kind of revelation, epiphany. Uh, some the house I keep seeing the house of cards is gonna fall. The house of cards. I feel like they've built up this false sense of security or false sense of their life that doesn't really exist. In this, it's like paper, and the paper cards are just gonna collapse. There's no stability here. There's no, um, yeah. And I think that whoever they put in such high esteem here as the Queen of Swords, who they see as the Empress, is going to collapse. So this could be that mother, mother child situation, other person. Maybe it's a spouse um, that they have been married to in the past or are still married to in separation or something like that. And I don't know it's it's obviously this is a collective reading so there's a lot of different energies here but there's some kind of fe feminine energy female energy that's controlling the situation um, and it's gonna fall and it's gonna be in a very emotional time for this person cancer uh, or this could be you being on the other side of it uh, when the cards fall they may come to you when this whole thing crashes you might be what they fall back on because the king of cups is masculine and feminine. It can be masculine and feminine. It doesn't matter. It's, it's what came out in the, in the reading. Let's see what's on the bottom. Yeah. Four of swords. It's going to be some deep healing. I think that you're going to be the one that kind of picks the pieces up. That's what I'm seeing. Now that's not going to apply to everybody. This is a collective reading, but if you, um, kind of feel that energy around you that when this, when this house of cards falls for this person, they're going to want you to be there to help them heal and pick up the pieces. That's what I'm seeing. And that I, you have to make the determination, though, Cancer, if you want to do that or not, if this person is somebody that you want to, you know, give this kind of energy to, because I feel like helping this person is going to be a significant drain on your energy and your time. And if you're, if this is a love situation and you're waiting for someone to come in to, you know, have a relationship with and marry you could be waiting a long time for this person to see the light uh, or to understand I feel like understand the light is a better term for this situation cancer understand they don't understand there's a communication block there's a 
there's a there's a communication upheaval or there's a disconnect between their emotions their communication and healthy relationships well cancer please click the like for the algorithm that would really help me out please subscribe and ring the bell if this resonated with you please leave a comment down below and let me know how this applied to your situation if it's uncomfortable for you to leave a comment because of your situation, which I totally get, please leave an emoji down below so other people uh, realize that this resonated with more than one person because I feel like sometimes we just need to know that other people kind of understand uh, what we're going through or what we've been through. So like I said, please click the like for the algorithm and I will see you soon, Cancer. Bye-bye.